We represent the collective voice of healthcare professionals in Oregon. We might be trainees, I myself am a medical student, there are nurses, physicians, fellows, residents here. And we as health professionals want to first stand in solidarity with this movement, and second, make it known that we want to be of help and assistance here. So there's two slogans that I want to bring to life. This is just symbolizing that yes, black people can be doctors too, even if we wield white coats. Whiteness is the symbolism of purity and sanctity, and my wearing it can be a direct contradiction of that concept. There's also something you see here, white coats for black lives. It's a, it's a national coalition with varying chapters across the nation that are specifically centered on uplifting and moving forward progressive movements around Black Lives Matter. I think it's important for first for people to acknowledge that healthcare professionals acknowledge that death and dying of black people is a, is a public health emergency. That it's not something we overlook, it's not something that we don't recognize as a profession, it's something that we prioritize in addressing. So we kneeled for nine minutes to represent um, the death and dying of George Floyd, who suffered from asphyxiation under the knee of a police officer. That was a representation of just nine minutes of discomfort, nine minutes of pain where your knee might have hurt, your shoulder might have burned, and it's a representation of a very short and condensed version of the pain that we as black people experience every day. My call to everyone today is to then say that this should not be an isolated nine minutes, that this should be a beginning or a start of continued conversations, action, and, and thought around this issue. Amazing. And nine minutes as a representation is certainly not the breadth of what I expect from everyone that attended here.